What's up everybody? My name is Tentacle and welcome back to more Pokemon Sword. I thought I'd start at the title screen this time just so you guys can see what it was like. Oh, I love that rendition of the Pokemon theme song so much. Anyway, last time our adventure got started and we met our first Pokemon, Scorbunny. And now, in this episode, we heard that a wild Wooloo crashed through the fence near our house and is somewhere in the slumbering weld. And we gotta go save it. And as we're getting started here, I just want to say I am really freaking sorry about what happened with episode one. See, the thing is... I saved that gameplay recording as the wrong file type. It turns out, said file type is not supported in Vegas Pro, which is the editing software I use. So, I had to pretty much reconstruct the game audio. I tried to... I tried to fix my incorrect file, but in the process I lost the game audio, but kept the recording. That's what I meant when I said I had to reconstruct the game audio. But luckily I remembered to change my settings back to the way they were in OBS Studio, and now everything's A-OK, -okay, so we're good, let's freaking go. All that jazz. Booyah. That Pokemon we just defeated was called Squabet. I'll go over it later in this episode, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said before, I'm not going to go over every single Pokemon in the game. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is Rookity. Rookity is the regional bird of this game, and interestingly, it's pure flying type. Most flying type Pokemon have a secondary type as well, so this is pretty rare. When it fully evolves, it becomes one of three Pokemon in existence to have two different types and have the flying type be the first one. The other two are Noibat and Noivern. That didn't sound good. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? It was something alright. And I don't like it. Oh, never mind! <laughs> There's another Squabat! If you've played the older Pokemon games, then let me put it to you this way. Squavit is essentially this game's version of Rattata. It's a pure normal type Pokemon, not too exciting stats anywhere. Yeah, there's not really much to say about Squavit. However, when it evolves into Greedent, it gains a massive HP stat. I widely consider Greedent to be one of the best HP walls in the early parts of this game. There are far better ones later. But even still. Squavit and Rookity are some very solid early game Pokemon if you want to check them out. Now then, let's see what's going on, where that mysterious cry is coming from. I hate to break the tension, but I love the music that's about to play here. Let me be quiet so y'all can hear it.
I just wanted to be quiet through that entire buildup because, oh man, it sends it shivers down my spine. Anyway, try a tackle matchbox? Nothing. This ain't good. Oh, that's pretty cool. This mysterious Pokemon generated more fog, and it even covers up the UI and obscures the music. Uh, one more Ember matchbox? I don't like where this is going. Me winking at all the other people who have played this game before. I don't know if you were able to see it there, but you could still see a faint outline of that mystery Pokemon. I didn't see that the first time I played this, but now that I'm looking at it through OBS Studio, I saw it perfectly. Anyway, here's Leon. What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your- <laughs> I forgot Hop said that. Your pants with directions. Oh, man. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Aww, nice. Little fella turned out fine. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. Hmm, and yeah, at least it is alright. And Leon apparently doesn't believe us about the mystery Pokemon. So, the fearsome Pokémon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the real ones, or the ones to reveal the truth someday. Excuse me. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Uh, I lost the accent already. For context, I'm recording this episode a, a few hours after the last one. But now we actually are able to talk to our mom. I'll make this quick. Yes, we're going to Wedgehurst. Our mom gave us some Poke Dollars, which is the currency in Pokemon games. Also, his name is Matchbox, and I will have you respect his name. A bit of an obscure reference, but hopefully some of y'all got that. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to check something real quick. Oh, we have Pokeballs! So you know what? Well, yeah, Hop is saying we need to go to that building over there, which is the Pokemon Research Lab. However, I want to take a quick detour. I mean, we have to anyway. Because, believe it or not, there's a Pokemon here that I want to catch for my team. Not playing this up at all. I want Rookity to be the first member of my team. Oh, and we got really lucky! Level 5 is the highest possible level you can catch a Pokémon on Route 1 in this game. A little bit more about Rookity. This thing is fast, it's got amazing physical attack too, and when it fully evolves, it becomes a flying and steel type with amazing physical defense to boot. 
And as you saw there, Rooka D is also capable of learning the move Power Trip. That is a physical dark type move that deals more damage if the user raised its stats beforehand. Unfortunately, it does not work if the user lowered its opponent's stats. Anyway, Matchbox grew to level 8 and learned Quick Attack. See, I would like to nickname this Rookity, but I don't have a good nickname for it yet. So, I'll probably end up thinking of one in between this episode and the next one. There's Squavit again. Oh, and by the way, just because there are Pokémon in the overworld here, doesn't mean you can't find any in the grass randomly. That's still a thing. See? This is Blip Bug. This is the regional Bug-type Pokémon that evolves into a Cocoon Pokémon and then into something else. But Blip Bug here evolves into a Bug and Psychic-type. Very strange, because it has an extreme weakness to Dark. And you know, I'm gonna put our newly caught Rookity up front for a while, just so I can give her some EXP. There are some other rare Pokémon in the Grass and Route 1, but I'm not gonna go over every single one, like I said. In fact, I kind of want to speed through this episode because... This cutscene is pretty long! All this just to get a mother frickin' Pokedex. Oh hey, look at that! It's a little yamper. Oh, the pain this Pokémon set me through when I first played Sword version. Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokémon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests! Honestly, seeing as... Or, excuse me. Seeing who this character is... I find it kind of fitting that she doesn't have a British accent. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Cole. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? And something's up with the old Yamper over here. I do like this song that's playing right now. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. Yep, it's something. And you bet I know a lot about Pokemon. Yeah, we got the Pokedex! Unfortunately, though, since we caught that Rookity so early... We kinda can't see its Pokedex entry until just now. So let's see it. Rookity, the tiny bird Pokémon, a flying type. 
it'll bravely challenge any opponent, no matter how powerful. This Pokemon benefits from every battle. Even a defeat increases its strength a bit. A little bit of reference to the Rotom decks from the Pokemon anime. And I believe this guy... Yes! He gives us a free potion! Very nice. I don't know why I said it like that. There is some stuff we can do here in Wedgehurst, which is the name of this town. But I think we're about to get dragged into a Pokemon Center. Yep, that's right. At least Pokemon Centers in Sword and Shield are really helpful. Not only is healing really fast in this game, and I did not mean to mash yes, Pokemon Centers always have quickly restocking Pokemarts, and you can now change your Pokemon's nickname from any Pokemon Center as well as have them remember moves and forget moves. The Name Raider, Move Reminder, and Move Deleter have never been easier to use. And I might as well rest up. Just because this animation is really freaking cool. Now then, we gotta get going. I've almost been recording for 18 minutes. I do want to go over here to this guy because he sells berries. I want to get six Orin berries. Those restore 10 HP to a given Pokemon. And over here is a boutique. I'll probably just do my business in here and then cut to when we're done. Don't be like me. Save your money. You don't have to buy every single thing you get at the boutique. And yes, I want to do the gym challenge. I already know what it is. And Hop is saying we have to talk to the professor to hopefully get an endorsement from apparently Champion Leon as well. Ooh, by the way, examine this rock here. You get a free revive! That restores half health to a fainted Pokemon. It is very good to have that item so early. Anyway, Leon over here is trying to tell us how to catch Pokemon, but since we caught Rogadi, we get to skip the tutorial. And we get 20 more Pokeballs. Very nice. And... Hmm... There is a point where I want to stop in this episode, and then after that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop the recording and maybe record episode 3 as well. There's just a wild yamper hanging out. This is a very rare encounter. Sometimes wild Pokemon will just be randomly hanging out in areas. Oh, wait, hang on. I never bothered to catch or to see what Rookadee's nature and characteristic are. <gasps> oh, that's really freaking good. Well, not quite because Rookadee has a low speed stat, but that high attack stat is really good. We got lucky twice in a row. Rookadee is brave natured. I 
don't know what somewhat vain means, though. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'll post something about it on screen right now. Anyway, here's where we're gonna be stopping this episode. I wanna fight this trainer, and then after that, we'll end the recording. Look at me, I'm all dripped out. And you're nothing, youngster Jake. Watch and learn. Go on, Rookie D, give it a little peck. Peck neck. Huh. Oh jeez! I think we did about the same amount of damage to each other, so I'm gonna use the move Leer and lower Squavit's defense stat just a little bit. If Rookie D doesn't survive this, I'm gonna be so disappointed. But see, even with that really low speed stat, Rookie D is still able to go first. This won't be a problem after it evolves once. Just a single evolution will cause Rookie D's stats to skyrocket. And look at that, she already grew to level 6. We are on our way. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Again, I don't want to make these recording sessions too terribly long. So next time on Pokemon Sword, we're going to get to the professor's house and hopefully find a way to get started on the gym challenge. Anyway, until next time, this is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody.